<laughs> okay. This is the uh, first ride of the year. Uh, already stalled the bike, so uh, had to do a little bit of adjustment there. And didn't want to take up all your time. Anyway, we're going to try this again. I'm hoping to make it as far. It's kind of doggy. This. Well, I know why. Gas is off. <laughs> make it as far as the uh, there's some uh, water running down the creek and we're gonna go check it out anyway generally the creeks around here run oh about uh, oh I don't know two three weeks maybe at the most and then that's it unless you have some very unusual uh, uh, you know thunderstorms or whatever so it's kind of a big deal here on the prairies to uh, see running water. see lots of sitting water here because the snow is melting still. I figure we'll have about three more days and that'll be it. I guess I better not get too carried away here. This is generally when you flop a bike this is the first time you take it out. Especially on gravel. Which is a little bit like running on marbles. Especially They've just graded it up, so it's kind of loose on the top. So, I'm trying to be good, so I'm going to even use my signal lights here. Yep, everything's cool. Kind of dicey. Dicey riding. When you turn onto a new road. Anyway, we're going to go down here. Uh, a few miles. And uh, check out this creek. Uh, on our farm here, we have uh, two creeks that run in the spring. And uh, we're going to go to the biggest one first. And uh, it cuts just across the corner of our property where I'm going to be looking at it. It won't be on our our farm, but and uh, we'll see how long we take to do that, and then if it uh, time permits, I'll go and check out the other one. Eighty kilometers an hour is the uh, speed on this road, or the maximum speed. Actually, no, I'm wrong. I'm going the maximum speed on this road. They reduced it to 70 uh, because uh, they felt that the oil field trucks going 80 were uh, blowing the gravel into the ditch. So they were going to try on our road and a couple of other roads in the. Uh, rural municipality here uh, to cut it down 10 kilometers an hour and see if that made an improvement on uh, on the gravel staying on the roads. Gravel being probably one of the biggest costs in the RM because it's kind of scarce here so we pay a lot of money for it to get a load of gravel at the farm you're looking at a boat uh, delivered Probably, I'm thinking around $400 for 18 yards. 
something like that. Hey, I'm leaving a trail of dust. Well, well, well. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, I'm going to go past the creek first, uh, which is right here. And you can see the water running a little bit there. And there's a bit of a big snow bank there that's facing west. I'm going to go past here and turn around at a corner. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll have a quick look at it. Probably to most people, running water doesn't mean much, but it's about all I can come up with on the first ride. This is the end actually of our property, or the, the last road before you're out of our property, going east. And we'll just check it out here, nobody coming, don't want to stall it. Oh, that was nice. See, I can ride this stupid thing. And we'll go back here. And uh, have a quick look at this water. I hope I got the lens angle right. Navy Thomas 8 said I should tilt her up a little bit, so I did. And now this is on a bike and not the snowmobile, so a little bit little different riding stance because I was on my knee uh, before. But anyway, we're going to check this out here. Hopefully nobody comes. Uh, see if you can hear it running. If I can get my helmet to go up. Where's that little tab? Gotta be here somewhere. And I'm fogging up sitting there. Anyway, that's it. Running water. Uh, I don't really want to name the creek because I guess any locals will figure it out, but just the same. Kind of shy. For now, anyway. Uh, if I do something stupid, then you won't be able to find me. For now. Anyway, that's it. A little bit of spring runoff. A uh, couple pairs of geese. Actually, there's three pairs of geese there. One flying and one just sitting there. So let's go take a look at the other creek. probably won't be as good going into the uh, sun although the cloud is moving in from the west so it might be all right I really like this bike I had lots of dirt bikes when I rode my brother's road bikes um, and I felt that uh, when I bought it I thought geez you know that'd be kind of perfect for the things I want to do and so far, although I haven't put many kilometers on it, it's turned out really well and it handles really well. Especially on the gravel. I could see it be a handful uh, on a really gnarly trail, that's for sure, because of the weight and whatnot. But uh, I like it. I like it. Uh, to me, it goes too fast. But then, I'm not really a highway type person. Uh, I might go to a bigger sprocket for just dicking around on the farm and then just switch it out. Uh, when I decide to take a road trip, which I'm hoping to do. And we're going to signal here just to be fully compliant. Not that there's anybody. You can see she's kind of deserted out here this time of the day. Oh, deep gravel there. Anyway, here we go. Cancel my blinkers. And we're going to go up to this other little creek. And this creek pretty well cuts right through most of our land. Uh, it's kind of a blessing and a curse at the same time. A uh, blessing in that the harbor is a lot of wildlife. And it's a place to... Uh, hey, there's a moose, I think. No, nope. it's not a moose, it's a deer. And the freaking gravel here, they just pilled it on and it's really slippery 
wiggly, so I can't really go. It's too bad the field wasn't dry. I'd go out there. But anyway, as I was saying, that's a blessing and a curse. Uh, lots of wildlife here, which I like. Lots of different waterfall. And, uh, um, I think I'll just stop right here. Um, and also we can drain our land into this. Oh, I'll put my visor up. There. Anyway, I'm gonna leave my bike running because the battery was dead. Uh, but I jump started it, got it going. Anyway, we can drain uh, a lot of sloughs into the creek without anybody getting all upset about it, which a lot of farmers have trouble with getting rid of water arguments with neighbors and whatnot, but we don't because we've got this creek. Uh, and I guess the other, the curse part of it would be, uh, you know, it takes up you know, farmland, eh? And makes it a little bit more expensive to farm around, but we've made her so far, so I would call it basically a plus. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to go up here and just turn around and then uh, I think probably I got enough footage here so I'm gonna I'm gonna shut her down catch you later